Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. Today we are looking at the final map. Uh, I mean, we did look at it before, but we are looking at the hard version of the cemetery. Uh, and then we are going to start looking at the hard versions of the others that have changed. There will be changes, so I'm looking forward to those. But let's get the cemetery out of the way. It is the new map still, uh, you know, released just a week ago. And let's go for Arrow on Hugo. Why not? 30 gold for every rank. That's just constant gold that will be pretty nice to have. And we will be heading over to this cemetery hard mode. Let's see. Time six, not too bad. Let's get some good stuff going. So, not too bad overall, though. I am very much looking forward to this. I don't know what new enemies we will see. Uh, we already have a shop. Let's actually just go straight to it. We have some money. We have some money. We got some money. Uh, what do we want? Uh, will we get dots? Hmm. This We could take dots. Maybe we'll go orbital fire if we do that. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, although, we could just take five damage. Let's just take the damage. Why not? It'll help everything. Uh, pretty much other than dot specific things and you know dots are nice i do love ooh, look at that already getting some cooldown fantastic um as you can see we're doing 41 damage not too shabby at all so what else do we want we want something to clear some stuff and save our butts let's go with grand hex uh i love grand hex i'm just doing it for the for the funds uh, no real reason. Mines, I think we did last time in the cemetery, so I don't want to do that again. Let's go with the vines this time. Not too bad. Not the, the best build, but we're not making the best build. We're making a fun build. I think we will be fine. Uh, what else do we need, though? Let's go for just a little bit more in the way of the vines. I don't necessarily want that. Could go with orbital fire, for sure, but let, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see where we go. And we can already see that the tombstones cometh for us, so we do need to prepare for that. Uh, I am a little bit scared of these tombstones as they just appear under you. And that's, that's never fun, you know? You, you want to have your own thing. Uh, Ice Ring, I love. Not going to take it on these undead levels, though. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Cleave. It's been... it's It does its thing. It will be our protection against these larger or higher health enemies. So there we go. Keep the cooldown going, though. Look at that. Arrow firing nice and speedy. So, I'm, I'm pretty happy. And again, we've, we're just constantly getting gold because we were upgrading the arrow, which is fantastic as well. Uh, so, what do we want now? So, here we go. Let's go. Uh, I think we're going to sort of not forego cleave, so to speak, but I don't want to necessarily focus on it specifically. Uh, let's get our vines to where they're a decent size that we can use them to sort of escape into. Uh, everybody loves some good escapeing. So that will be good. And we're going to keep the cooldown coming. Oh, here we go. Look at them go. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think we have success right there. Mm, 8 damage, 15 damage. Let's go with the 8. It's coming out faster. It's controllable. And honestly, also, the, uh, the, the pure damage that we already have is uh, pretty solid already. Uh, ooh, attack size. There, I should have gone with cooldown. Oh, these, these are quite annoying. Uh, surprise, surprise. It's almost like the ranged enemies are designed to be annoying. And that's perfectly fine. We can handle it. Uh, let's get some Grand Hex cooldown. Yes, yes, please. More Grand Hex. That is what I want. Ooh, I want more Grand Hex. Let's get the arrow down. That way we do have the official... Uh, you know, semi-machine gun. That is what we do want. Plus, it does give us, again, a little bit more gold. Every little bit of gold adds up. I will take it happily. You know, I do find it funny that now that we do have the reroll system in place, uh, I tend not to reroll as much because, you know, there's so many less upgrades to get that it really isn't as impactful as it once was because you, you run out. Like, cooldown's done now so that's no longer an option you know we're re removing options a lot easier which is quite nice indeed uh we are in a bit of a hairy state i do think the auras here are a little bit too big they're just they're just monstrous and that's that's you know not the end of the world it's just it's a bit of a concern 
we do have two mini bosses out there. I do know one was right behind us. I'm assuming it's going to be following us. That is why I sort of left it behind. Uh, so that is quite good. Let's keep our attack size going. Where is that? Where, does that mini boss just leave? The fire one? Oh, no, it died. Okay, good. It is dead. Let's go get our actual chest. And as you can see, the arrow's coming out with the cleave. I think we're in a pretty good spot already. Increase its damage. Oh, oh I got hit by a fireball. Oh, I didn't even see it. Perfectly fine, though. We have the health. We are fine. Woo! All right, let's try it. Ooh. I'm just going to take that hit and kill this guy. Yes, thank you. There we go. And these guys are the ones that were shooting me earlier. They are problematic for sure. But we're in a good place still. Again, we're getting our Grand Hex cooldown up nice and smooth. And yeah, I, th I think we're in a, again, we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, we do see... Ah, oh, there we go. Chest, chest, chest. That's what we want. Uh, I will happily take that. No problem at all. I'd rather have pets. Rather have pets. Surprise, surprise. But, you know, you can't always get what you want. Let us go. Uh, Alright, I am definitely need to focus on actual survival for a hot second. You know, taking a bit of damage. Ooh. Alright, let's get down. Oh, perfect. Uh, mini boss. That is what I want to see. Get out of here, mini boss. Alright, maybe not. Maybe not out of here just yet. I think you might be dead, though. No. All right. Get out of here. Die, 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 die. Oof. Look at that. They just have a lot of health now. It's not... Ooh. Okay. That aura on Hugo. Way problematic. Uh, doubly so, because that is the bugged... Or potentially bugged element for Hugo, where he can get hit multiple times uh, from an aura. I have had that happen a number of times, which is perfectly fine, you know, now that I know about it and can, you know, know explicitly to avoid it. Obviously, you don't want to get hit, but, you know, you get hit sometimes. It happens. It's not the end of the world. You know, not, not too bad. Uh, as you can see, even these enemies, they, they take the hits. Uh, the health of the enemies has dr increased so much. Uh, and this doesn't actually have hearts. That's actually a surprise for me. I was planning on getting the hearts here. Not the end of the world, but not exactly what I was hoping for, of course. Uh, and ooh, we have the, the Black Reaper. Fantastic. Hello, Mr. Miniboss. Give me your hearts. It is what I desire. Please. All right, that's going to hit me. Perfectly fine. And then we can kill it. All right. Uh, we're not in the best state in terms of being able to clear off large areas. Oop, there's a heart over there, so let's just take the hit, get the heart, and again, escape. Uh, that is the beauty of Hugo, is the fact that, you know, on any other character, we'd sort of be like, oh god, uh, just please, please let me avoid stuff. But on Hugo, you can take the hit. Just move your butt, get out of there, get your uh, experience that's on the ground, get your health that's on the ground, you know, run away. Uh, it's it's actually quite a useful, useful ability indeed. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, again, we do have the cleave just... Oh, she blended in too much for me. That was, that was my fault. We do want to kill the auras, though. The auras are the things... I mean, look at that. He's, he's still there. That, I mean, I was shooting him quite a lot. Their health is absurd. And we do have the janitor uh, shooting them bubbles. Get out of here, Mr. Janitor Man. I do not want you to ruin my day, please. Uh, but I think, again, we're in a pretty good spot. There we go. Janitor down. Oh, ah, look at that. Get in the vines, too. Perfect. Get out of here, Aura. Get out of here. All right. Pretty good spot. Again, full health now, so that means if we do see another health drop, we can use it to uh, just run around, have fun. But realistically, we're just we're just chilling. You know, we're we're gonna have some fun, kill all of this stuff, get this experience, get some more levels, and just destroy the world entirely. Uh, more cooldown, please. Yes, that is what I want. Again, I want my Grand Hex to be grand. Yo oh, and he lost his uh, aura. Don't know how they lose their aura. I'm assuming that's a bug. 
I like it a lot because the ores are probably my least favorite element uh, that has been added. You know, it's not a bad element. It, it is a very good thing. He lost his aura again. I think it is a good thing. Um, but the auras on those enemies are just so large. So very large. And they, they hurt every character. I mean, they do like 20 damage. They're not like 5 damage auras or anything. They, they are substantial. You know, you do not want to be in them whatsoever. So, but hey, got another chest here. Gonna get a heart. Well, we better get a heart. Because uh, I took some damage as I was... Uh, oh, did not. Did not get a heart. All right, all right. Call me a liar. Making me a liar. One of those two. I don't know. But let us get this other chest. Uh, let's take the hit. I mean, it's gonna happen. Uh, I think I took... Oh, did I take two damage from that? I don't know. But they are dead. It's fine. Got some hearts. At least one. Thought I heard two, but it looks like our health only went up by one, so a little surprised by that. My ears do deceive me, which is fine. So, but yeah, uh, you can see this is fairly, uh, fairly a pleasant level. Nothing too crazy is happening so far. Uh, we've gotten a lot of money, again, thanks A to B. Oh, there's a heart over there. Fantastic. Uh, always good to see. And we'll increase our grand hex. Uh, we do have some dots, so let's go with that. We're getting money. Why not? And, all right, we'll get scoop. We'll, at this point, scoop. I'll take it. Uh, woo. All right. And a scope. Oh, the shell's got me. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Uh, more area, though. Just gives us that better safety net, so to speak. Uh, we're in a great place, though. We have health around us. We have uh, basically all we need. You know, we're, we have good damage. We have hearts. We have health. We're full health after this. Done and dusted. So, feel, feeling it. I'm just, I'm just feeling it right now. There we have it. Another mini boss down. Gonna be some hearts. Uh, boom. Oh, and we get to the splitters. I... These splitters are great. I am a big fan of them. We don't have the weapons to deal with them very well, however. That is one thing I will completely admit, is the fact that these splitters really make you uh, want certain weapons over others. You know, I mean, spears would be great for them, without a doubt. Uh, just just AOE things around you, you know. Orbital fire at a very high speed is very good for them as well. So, I'm not a fan of... Like, it's not that I'm not a fan of them. I think, again, I think they are very good enemies. Uh, but I think that it does make you want to be more restrictive. Um, which is not a bad thing, per se. But, you know, you never want to be restricted, right? I mean, at least I don't. I, you know, the, the more the barrier, the, the better it is. Uh, I am just taking damage after damage, trying to uh, get experience. This is not going the best here. Uh, I think we'll go with a little bit more in the way. That, let's get to the vines. We are going to start using the vines a bit more to our safety. Oh, and I got hit right at the edge of the vine. Of course. Perfectly, perfectly vine. A right there. Um, all right, let's get out of here. We're in a very bad spot. There's some chests, well, crates, I should say, and also a chest as well. So, oh, there are chests, multiples. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So, and that gave us some hearts. Fantastic. Let's get to the other one. Let's get this pet, which will just be a little upgrade for one of our pets because we are maxed out on the petitude. I am not going to complain about being maxed out on the pets, though, because uh, that just makes it that much easier. Mm, all right, keep the AoE coming. Uh, again, we are in not the best, best place. Definitely taking the hits. Definitely feeling it right now. Oop, there we go. Taking another hit. Uh, and we will go for scoop again. Oof, this is getting really, really, really rough. Oh, and we have sadly gotten to the point where we are in the danger zone. Uh, this is officially, I would say, the danger zone. So let us get to the... Oh, shop. Alright, shop. We have money. You have hearts. 
Well, let's just see if we can work this out. Just a 50. Just a 50, of course. Um, perfectly fine. You know, not the end of the world. But I will, I mean, I'll take any heart that I can get right now. Uh, I would have preferred to have, like, the 150 or something like that. Or a couple of them. Maybe the 100 and the 50 and gotten substantially more hearts. But that's fine. Again, we have plenty of money if we get to another shop. Uh, it does just give us that little bonus. Uh, so I will not be complaining. Oh, all right. Let's safety, safety, safety. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, I walked through it. That was my fault. There we go. All right, what do we want? Do we want more dot speed, more base damage, or movement speed? Let's just get more base damage. Why not? Uh, again, I thought I had a heart, but I guess I took two points of damage. I don't even know. Uh, perfectly fine, though. We got another shot. I'll take it. Hopefully, maybe we'll get a heart beforehand, just to see. And there we go. Look at that. 100 and a 50. That is delicious. That is glorious. That is what you want to see. You want to see all of the hearts. We're back up to full. Feeling good again. I am not going to complain whatsoever. Thankfully, with the Hugo money. Uh, I mean, what level... Ooh, 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 ooh. Please, sirs. Please. Get me out of there. All right. As you... Oh, come on. All right, what do we got here? Just a 50 here. I will take it. Again, we'll take all of these. Why not get the experience? Helps you level that much more. Take some more damage on that. Again, just get sorted. We don't want to die. We don't want to... All right, well, you can walk. <laughs> you. I can walk into things very easily there. Uh, and our arrow is 21, which means we've gained 600 gold. So, I mean... Realistically, okay, we didn't gain that much gold thanks to Hugo. We have plenty of extra gold uh, just from the map itself, be it boxes and chests and all of that stuff. But still, oops, excuse me. Uh, still, it's 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 not a bad amount. It's not a bad amount at all. I, uh, you know, feeling pretty good. Lots of stuff going on. Again, we don't have the best clear. Uh, but who needs it, you know? Who needs the best clear? Uh, we're full health. I'll be taking a point of damage. Or maybe I won't. I don't see a heart. I was going to take a point of damage just to sort of pick up everything. But I didn't see any hearts on the ground, you know? I, I would like to take the damage if I can get it back. But there we go. We escapade thanks to a point of damage. We got another pet and a chest. Uh, oh, I thought it was in a place where I could get both. I'd rather have the pet right now than the chest. Plus we'll get the chest next. Uh, we will get the pet soon, and there we go. Coins are worth more. Fantastic. We're just monstrously, monstrous more damage. That's a plus 10, and again, our arrow is shooting quite fast, and that's the main reason for it is, I mean, that's 10 damage on every arrow, uh, pre and post crit, all of that good stuff. So look at that. Look at the arrows going through. I'll just take the hit. Don't even care kill everything coming for us this this is definitely a gross gross segment they are very very dangerous and i'm feeling it uh let the grand hex try and save us just a bit Ooh, a there we go all right safety 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 kill all those skeletons and i think we have survived that you know mega wave mighty mighty wave super wave I don't even know. Uh, but they were surrounding us. Oh, and these guys are going to be creating all of the things that we don't want to see. Hopefully we can kill some of them before they get too annoying. Uh, yeah, get them out of here. Oof. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Those 400 damage crits from the arrow definitely doing loads of work. So will we make it to the last boss? Will we see it at the end? I mean, we are a minute and a half out, so I think I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, yeah, not too bad. I should probably upgrade the cleave a little bit more, but again, I, I got it mostly for the nostalgia's sake. Uh, I do like the cleave. I, I It's honestly, well, you know, I still like it for what it is. It is not one of my favorite weapons anymore, though. I, I just, you know, it's fallen out of favor. Nothing wrong with that for me. Uh, so, you know, I'm happily going to take it. I'm not saying it's a bad weapon. It is actually still very, very strong. It's, uh, it's damage that it can do is quite nice. 
Um, however, just for me, you know, I, I just don't care about it as much. It, it's a little too close range for my liking and a little too uncontrollable. I, you know, I, I understand what they were going for with it, and it sort of is like the close range shuriken. Does high, high damage, hits very often, great for larger enemies, great to keep things off of you, um, which it is. It's just, you know, I, I don't like things to get that close if I can help it. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's that's the biggest thing right there. Uh, saw a heart on the ground, so I took that damage. That actually was intentional, believe it or not. While I have not been taking a lot of intentional damage, it does happen occasionally. Like that one, not intentional. I'm not going to lie and say that was uh, some well-thought-out planned thing, unfortunately. Let's get some more stuff, though. Things are, I will say, the one thing that I love about this level is that things are just littered everywhere. Um, like, it's just, it's refreshing to actually see chests. It's refreshing to see shops, see pets. I mean, we've, we haven't gotten that many pets, but we have gotten pets before. Uh, here we go. We do, oh, his aura did tag me perfectly fine there. Uh, get out of here, Tabasco. You got nothing. Woo! Honestly, not very threatening. Uh, so, not feeling super threatened, at least. Oh! Oh! Did he just suck me in? Or Oh, I don't know what pulled me back in. That was interesting. Um, he does have a butt-ton of health, though. So, you can see how much health and how little damage I'm actually doing to him. Uh, so, what would help? I mean, size is not going to help. That crit chance actually might help a bit. Uh, arrow is definitely the weapon that we are using in, just to sort of control him. And thankfully, we got him in the vines. That's what I want him to be as well. Just get as much damage. Oh, the Tabasco. The Tabasco! Get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's make sure if we kill a Tabasco, we kill the oozes inside of it as well. That is the important part. Um, and thankfully, I mean, honestly, Scoop, he might not get a heart very often, but every time he does, you know, it's just bonus. I mean, we can take an extra hit. This is not very threatening. We're still actually gaining levels. You know, I, I'm, I feel very comfortable and confident in this for sure right now. So, yeah, uh, uh, no real problems here. Um, I think, oop, here's a lot of little red, uh, oh, oh, that is quite the wave coming in. Perfectly fine with that. Please give me that experience. Lovely jubbly. Uh, safety, safety, safety. Perfect. Look at all these levels. We're still gaining. Um, get some more crit on that. It's a big hitter. Oh, I just stood there. Let that hit me. I, I really just don't even care at the moment. You know, he's the boss is so low that I'm just like, it's happening. It's going to happen. There we go. It took us two minutes to kill the boss with this weapon layout. That is nuts. Just a bit nutters, but that is perfectly fine. Look at that. Hugo saving the day, getting that 8,000, getting 71. This is quite the good level. Not going to complain about it whatsoever. Got the big Tabasco. I am a fan. So, 17.04 was the final time. Not too shabby. Uh, so, this, this level does have a lot of really big surrounds. Uh, not too bad, though. Not the end of the world. Uh, we were able to do it. Again, this is the full web, as you can see. Uh, if you do need any uh, suggestions for the web or any plans or trying to plan it out, uh, please check out my other video. It will be obsolete in the future. The devs are... Uh, making it so if you do not have something visible, you will be able to see it in the background, which is fantastic. Uh, that is in the works. Uh, they do have working images of it. I don't know how it is in the code, if that's already done or not, or if it was just sort of like, this is what we planned for, but it is uh, something that is looking to happen. So thank you very much. Uh, not too bad of a map. Definitely the, one of the hardest ones, but I need to see how hard the earlier ones are. Uh, I do think the ice crystals of the Viper Village are definitely harder. Those just pop up so often, have such a big aura, and fire so many bullets. You know, the bullets in this level are annoying, and the aura is very annoying, those huge moving auras. But 
I, I think the ice crystals definitely eke them out. So we will be starting on the old maps, though, uh, just to see how hard their hard mode is very, very soon. And of course, my hard mode uh, game will be continuing. And I'm just going to throw in other videos here and there as well, such as the Creeper World, things like that. So thank you very much. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to see anything, just let me know. I'm very receptive and would like to... Uh, make content that people would like to see. So thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Happy hunting.